Hello, hello. No introduction on this one. We're going to hop straight into the GA4 self audit, which you can see right over here. Um, so what this is, is it's going to allow you to first select your GA4 account. So come on right up under here. You can select your GA4 account from the drop down and you are off to the races. This is version, I believe, 3.2, 3.0, somewhere like that. If you are not on the email list, I would highly suggest joining the email list over on datastudio.vip. It's freaking awesome. We're pretty cool. And you get to give feedback on as these tools get developed in Data Studio utilizing anything else. So after you select your account, we're using the demo store again to just start things off. You can do a few things. First, you'll be able to see when your account was created, the number of unique events you're, that are being sent, host names that are being sent. So if you only have two host names and there's six being sent, might want to dig into if you're accidentally adding tag manager to a different domain, right? Could be an option. Number of countries that are viewing your site, number of conversions you have turned on. So for example, if you're running a ton of traffic to various, you only have six conversions, your Google Ads team might be a little bit frustrated with you. Uh, number of custom audiences that are you're utilizing, there's 100 total, so 28 out of 100 are being utilized. And number of unique data streams. So if you have more than one data stream, that can be found right here. We then have it broken down by source and medium, just looking at this so you can kind of quickly see an ad hoc report. But the real juice of this starts to come in when you click on other things. So let's go to the event audit. Bam. You now looking, are looking at the event name and whether or not it's a conversion. So here you can see in the demo account, they are turning their scrolls as a conversion to begin checkouts. Um, and you can see how many of those are there. And then it's secondary sorted by that accordingly. So the first visit is the highest conversion. You can see the percent change in that column. So that's what we're looking at right now. Then moving on um, over is we can then look at the PII checker. So this right here looks for specific pieces where it might have PII might be broken. Not always 100% accuracy, but it's looking for emails, first names, last names, etc. Might want to just take a quick spot check and click on these. They'll open it up in a new tab to see what's happening. In this case, we've got some false positives. Um, version 4.0 will probably have some better regexts uh, in here to select those. Then we've got the 404 Air Finder, one of my personal favorite tools. Uh, you can see here, if you want to view the error page, you just click on any one of these error page preview links. It will open up for your account uh, what you're looking for. Then you can see here where the session sources are, the session mediums, and how you are trending over time. So in an ideal world, right, you'll check in every single day and hopefully squash those bugs, right, of where those 404s are coming to your site. Next. If you are rocking e-commerce, not everybody is, but if you are, we've got the core e-commerce events, so view items, add to carts, checkouts, and transactions, as well as the um, overall all e-commerce events as they are um, identified by GA4. So again, GA4 is highly customizable. You're able to actually do um, pretty much anything you want to. You could add any type of e-commerce event to any other event you'd like to. But here we have the core ones that Google outlines in their documentation. So if anything seems off on your account, you might want to say, whoa, 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 let's back it up. Why is this the case? We then have those kind of overall KPIs, the discounts, the conversion rates, the um, percentage of revenue, etc. Then we've got product KPIs. So depending on how your product is rocking, um, you can then see here we've got item views, the percentage of those to add to carts, the percentage of those to purchases, the percentage of those to um, the item revenue and the total efficiency um, in a percentage format of the number of views to purchase. So you can kind of see how those will, um, again, moving throughout the entirety of the system. Depending on the quantity and how your set shop is set up, there might be some weird numbers here, but overall it's probably a good trend to look at and you can sort here by average price per item or whatever you'd like to just click on the top of these and you can sort by, hey, who had the most add to carts? Like look at this one, but obviously we're not doing too hot on the conversion rate there. That is the product KPIs. Then we're gonna hop down here to customize. So because GA4 is so customized, we wanted to make you be able to easily identify what is not stock, what is not normal. So here, all the blue backgrounds are custom events that are not standard in GA4. So here you can look at all of these ones right here, um, and they're all not standard. So either you set them up via Tab Manager, via the API, via something else, and those are all highlighted in blue for you. And then it's sorted hierarchically by the event count down below. So you can just take a look at all the events that you are seeing. 
Then we've got audiences. So audiences, I think, are going to become really, really important in the future of GA4 and Google Ads and retargeting. Uh, so here you can see exactly how many sessions um, are in each of those, how many conversions, the transactions, the total revenue, the conversion rate for that audience, right? Pretty sweet, so you can easily say, hey, um, this is doing better than that, or you can identify your audiences really quickly as you're auditing an account. That is it, folks. There is gonna be um, probably a few more updates. I would highly implore you to come on down to, if you need to see the do more, that's my little face. Um, you can hit the cheat sheet. That's where you'll be notified about this update. Or if you want to hire us and the team over at Media Authentic, which my face is currently behind, uh, you can click on this button down here. And we'd love to talk about what we could do with you using all the Google ecosystem tools. So again, feel free to leave your feedback. You can join the cheat sheet uh, newsletter and hopefully that makes some sense. If you have any feedback at all, leave it in the comments down below and I'll be excited to see what you can come up with and what logic we can build in to make this the best GA4 event audit on the freaking internet. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon.